Hey guys, Baruch here. Think about this for a second. If only women turned out to vote in this year's election, Obama would win by a landslide. If only men showed up, then Romney would. Pretty crazy to think, considering that less than a century ago, women in this country weren't even allowed to vote. My great-grandmother was born into a world where American women didn't even have a say in who the next president would be. Today, just 92 years later, more women than men are voting. In the 2008 presidential election, women outnumbered men by nearly 10 million. 10 million! In fact, more women than men have been voting since the 1980s. And this disparity only continues to grow. According to Gallup, men and women are clearly divided when it comes to their priorities in choosing a president. 39% of women polled listed abortion as their number one issue, then jobs, health care, the economy, and equal rights. Men, on the other hand, listed jobs and the economy at 38% and 37%, respectively. In 2008, Obama had the advantage of a 13-point margin, 13 points, when it comes to female voters. This time around, it'll be critical for him to maintain something of an advantage in that department if he wants to win the swing states, where, by the way, more women than men show up to vote. Pollster Nate Silver predicts that we could see one of the largest gender gaps ever this election season. So time will tell who's able to harness those fluid-floating voters as we near Judgment Day.